Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new series, The Fall. This is a great game, it's by Over the Moon Studios, which you should have seen at the beginning there. Uh, I've already beaten it, unfortunately, it's not blind, but I love it, and I anticipate you all really enjoying it too. So let's just uh, jump right in. I think it excels with very little backstory, honestly, and uh, that's barely visible. Starting a new game. Alright, standard, don't turn off all your saving message. Over the Moon presents... Stars. And some dude fall it. That looks like it might hurt. Anti-matter shield enabled. Fancy. I feel like an actual antimatter shield might be a touch more explosive, though. Maybe not. The fall. Here we are. Minor landing damage sustained. Health monitoring system offline. Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective save my pilot. Good objective. Accessing on suit logs. Mission parameters and location data not found. Hmm. So, look around with right mouse. This is uh, an interesting mechanic in this game. As this is how we look around. We hold out our gun and we look up th at things. The tunnel created from my impact, I can see stars in the distance, approximately 50 meters below the surface. A trail of blood and broken glass. Something was dragged through Threat here. Level unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Oh, Consulting parameters. That's inconvenient. Locate medical facilities. Good call. I'm just going to change the settings because I am unfortunately on trackpad. Whoops, there we go. So I want to toggle the gun so that I can actually fire once I get the ability to do that. Bioluminescent insects, just some glow bugs, large pile of damaged and destroyed synthetics. Some of these power systems are still giving off my new electrical signals. Smaller pile. What the hell is that? Smaller pile of damaged synthetics. Smashed beyond recognition. Robotic arm. Damaged control panel. A micro wrench. Okay, this is... This game doesn't really have a proper genre, in my experience. Of it, it's like it's kind of actiony because I mean you wander around and you shoot at things, but it's also uh, it's also just sort of a point and click, almost. So this cloaking pattern is similar to my own. May be able to network with it. Network. Network interface disabled. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. This is another cool feature of this game. Uh, you get different abilities, which are sort of unlocked as they're needed. Alright, must not misrepresent reality. Hey, welcome to the operating screen. Here you can check the statuses of your different abilities. Yep, like I was saying. Select network interface to continue. So, there are operating parameters. Very important. Don't lie. Obey commands. Protect the active pilot. Sort of standard three rules type of dealio. So, network interface. Let's... Enable that. An organic superior officer is required to permit access. Automatic override will occur if it is required to prevent pilot death. Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I can find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. 
Anyway, how inconvenient that we can't just turn it on, but like she said, we may be able to. So, a winch, that could be useful. What's over this way? A security panel with a burned out power cell. An unpowered sentry gun. A motion sensor. Uh, and an abandoned security card. I can fit my hand through the bars, but I can't reach it, so... I can't grab that. How unfortunate. Uh, we do have a micro wrench, though, and I remember seeing uh, a hand that still worked. This. That's a little hard to read. Wow, okay. Interact with the micro wrench. Let's see what we can do. Got ourselves. One hand. <laughs> Need a hand? Now we've got one. Alright, so it. Whoa, okay. Should be able to grab it with our robotic hand. And we just did. Great. So now, I do, I do know the puzzle solutions. I'm sorry about that. I try not to know puzzle solutions, but this game is amazing and I couldn't wait. So, uh, later, I'm sure I'll have forgotten most stuff. Jump, there you go. So, at that point, we can all have fun together. It does not require a key. Well, let's interact with it. Yeah, so, uh, just to clarify, we... Shit, okay. We are, uh... The robot. That was a little unclear to me, uh, when I played through this, but we are, we are just... The robotic AI. So... So there's a person in us, and we're trying to save them. That's our goal. Hopefully, uh... Whatever's in here helps. Let's see. Artificial life form. State your primary function. Issue standard greeting or acquire data. Let's standard greeting. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your designation? Mark 7 ARID. State your primary function. All right, well that didn't work. Let's try acquiring data. Negative. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Depurposing? All right. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No. That will kill my pilot. That's bad news. Loving the effects, though. Operating screen updated. So, turn it on. Criteria for override has been met. Activate immediately. Alright, let's do that. Network. Well, I hope that didn't break anything. Terminal had a strong firewall, not able to network with it. Droid is gone, no sign of it. That is worrying. It just tried to attack me with no good reason. And... Like most people, I'd imagine I don't really like that. 
But now he can network. Let's go talk with the uh, thing. Exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Edit roll. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed, and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. How do we know he wasn't harmed without a working uh, medical diagnostics tool? And also, I'm sure that glitching out sound means everything is in perfect working order and nothing is wrong. Yeah. Oh god, there he is. I think that was the droid that just attacked me. What's this? Steady drip of blood. Ooh. Network. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. The human inside the suit is dead. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. You've sort of been crucified. Let's acquire data. Uh, no, seek medical. That's our highest priority. Our pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There is a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Alright. Sounds easy enough. Uh, I was attacked and could use a gun. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Alright, that's useful data. Uh, why are you damaged? Your design is pilot-centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked, or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No vital signs detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. Well, that's dark. Uh, he just sort of said yes. Shit. Alright, mission parameters. I have none. Why are we here? I do not have record of this location, or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level 7, 533172. Processing. Clearance level, not sufficient. To learn about our own nation. That makes perfect sense. What was the thing that attacked us? I Final question. I modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. We were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. Alright, well that's all I have to ask. I will return. So now we need a way to get uh, downstairs. Now the elevator goes up, but not down. However, there is a bit. Whoops, we want to look this way. Hey, there's the uh, BC. Looks like a giant rat. There is a bit of a trick here. I'll just leave. All right, coolio. What's going on down here? Pillars. Hair, looks like boxes. Cavern has been filled with a massive quantity of dissected and discarded robots. Okay. The 
the most recent model I detect is decades old, other than wear, some of these machines show no sign of malfunction. Bits of bone and animal droppings. A small creature, something metallic in its mouth. Can't interface with it. And my gun is damaged. I forgot to actually, uh, get the solution to this puzzle, so I'll just run back and get that. Whoop, okay, I meant to turn around. There we go. Climbing up. Climbing up. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to get a firearm we go. Now, the other combat suit said that it was attracted to blood. Let's get some. Alright, the blood should lure out the animal. Very useful. Hopefully it brings the gun with it. So once again we have to uh, send the elevator up and go down ourselves. I guess we can just uh, leave it here. The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. How inconvenient. Alright, so it's come out. ARU sidearm. I can network with it. Let's do that. No oh, shit. Nice. Weapon is still operable. Now have a working weapon. Hold right mouse to aim and left mouse to fire. Takes a while to charge, be careful. Push F to activate the laser sight. Toggle between, and that also just automatically comes up when I fire, which is super convenient. Unauthorized weapon fire located. Unauthorized artificial life form. Shut down all systems immediately or you will be destroyed. Oh my. Hello. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your target not complying? Threat level escalated. Engaging. Enter cover. Use cover wisely. Several enemies are much more powerful than I am. Be sure to stay in cover until it's safe. When ready, aim from cover and shoot them. All right. Oh my. That was not on purpose. Ha ha! I don't think it saw me. It still hasn't seen me. Now it won't. Combat is a little unwieldy when you're using toggle aiming, but it's not that bad. And it's really not the main point of this game, so whoop, shit. Hell of a jump there. It's really not the main point of this game, so I don't mind that it's uh, a little bit unwieldy. Takedowns. If you approach an enemy from behind, you can perform a takedown. 
and it will recharge some of my own power. Tear their arm off, it kills them. Good to know. Can't interact with that. Let's keep the gun out, I guess, if there's still more here. Hello. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. I think we've heard this. Returned. Well, I don't actually have anything return. else to say. Can I get you down? Like so? Yes, I can. I can remove the power cell now. How convenient. Identify yourself and your I already have. I am the ARID on board a Mark yes. 7 combat suit. I have returned. Inspect the pilot. Confirmed. Your pilot is dead. You serve no function. How grim. Your power cell is still operational. I will deactivate you and salvage it. Affirmative. Return it with my log core for analysis and data extraction. Negative. Protecting my pilot requires endangerment. I will utilize your power cell to achieve this. Impossible. You are faulty. Cease. 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 Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Awesome. One step further. Security panel. Its power cell has been burned out. Let's replace it. The security gun has been reactivated. I don't think I actually wanted to do that. Oh god. That's bad. Camouflage required. Operating screen updated. Camouflage system. Activate. Hold E to cloak. I'll have to back out for the sensor to open. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Nice, it worked. And... Let's go. Ooh. Unfriendly. Self-evaluation initiated. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Yes, I have. Making recommendation for ARID termination upon return to dock. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safeguard pilot. Search parameters maintained. Find immediate medical aid. Once again, I'm sure everything is definitely in perfect working order. That makes for a pretty good first episode, so I am going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys like it, and I will see you next time in the fall.